Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm just sneaking in here. Coralie's actually napping in the back seat um, to do a quick live for you. Um, and that's something that has been kind of growing inside me and I've been working on a lot in case it inspires you or you've been in this position. So I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, you know, new level, new devil, right? Um, at convention this past week, we learned a lot about you know, growth. We learned a lot about achievement. We got to celebrate so many new wins of leaders and recognize, you know, their growth. And one thing that was consistent throughout all of this is that you know, it doesn't just get easier. You know, the further along in life you get, the more you achieve in life, the more you accomplish, the more goals that you meet, um, it doesn't get easier. You know, every step along the way, we have these new paths and these new obstacles that we have to overcome. And even Emily Wright, who you, you think of Emily Wright, right? Like she's just perfect on stage. She looks literally like an angel. Um, one of the executives said that whenever she walks out on stage, literally like butterflies and flowers, butterflies fly and flowers sing. <laughs> so when you think about somebody like Emily Wright, um, who's our, our head of marketing and sales, you think there's no way she has anything going on in her life that could be hard or anything, any issues, right? And she actually, in her in her closing, um, hey Kari, uh, in her closing um, speech this past week at convention, she wrapped it up by sharing a really deep story with us. And you know, I, I won't go into it, but it evolves a lot around her self-worth and relationships that she's had in the past that were unhealthy and how she overcame those. Um, so everybody's got these new levels, right? And new devils that pop up. And I'm one of those people that have them. So I've been you know, in this business and, and growing and having phenomenal growth and meeting each and every one of you and working with you guys. But I, I'm ready to go to the next step, right? I'm ready to hit gold. I'm ready to be there. I'm ready to to work and thrive and grow with my leaders and have fun with you guys and and be that person to help support and mentor you. Um, but I, I've got these things that are going on, you know, this um, self-talk that needs some work and some improvement and growth with my confidence. And while we were at gala this year, they always have a special oil um, that they give just for the gala attendees. And it's called the Beautiful Blend, uh, which I thought was so fitting and so powerful because it's, you know, it's a day that you dress up and you have fun, and but it's something that is a theme throughout each one of the diamonds and above that we recognize is that they have the power and the certainty to be themselves, um, and that's how they grow, right? So this beautiful blend, it has a uh, lime, osmanthus, bergamot, and frankincense in here plus some fractionated coconut oil and I've been wearing it like a perfume lately because it does it smells wonderful um, so I've been loving that one and I've been learning a lot more about the oils and the emotions and I had to put the window down it's getting kind of hot in here um, I've been learning a lot about the oils and your emotions and their emotional effects in our bodies and how you can really stimulate the experiences that you want to either grow to or thrive to and um, so I love that beautiful blend but I wanted to check my emotions book which this is um, what edition is this this is the third edition so I think now they're on the sixth or the seventh one so it's not the latest one um, it doesn't have all those brand new oils in it but this is the copy I have I pulled it out this morning and I was just kind of leafing through the back and because in the back they have an index of, you know, different emotions. I don't know if you can see this. So different emotions you might be feeling and then oils to help overcome those emotions or to achieve those emotions um, depending on your goal. So I went to the book and I pulled out the emotions that I wanted to strive for and I wanted to reach and I wanted to achieve um, to help me 
grow so I can support each and every one of you guys. Um, but before I share with you what I put in this special little blend here, I wanted to share a quote that um, I actually came across because you know, as we've been growing and I'm the person that I want things to happen now, I want them to happen fast, I want them to happen you know, instantly, um, but I know there's work involved and and I've been working at this for a while and I just want to get vulnerable with you guys in case you've been kind of you know, thinking about doing this as a business or you've been at a certain rank for a while and you're not sure why you're not you know, hitting the next rank or you in case this this speaks to you but i came across this quote it says your journey has molded you for greater good and it was exactly what it needed to be don't think you've lost time it took each and every situation you have encountered to bring you to the new or bring you to the now sorry and now is the right time so if, if you've been kind of wanting to hurry along this journey or just reach the next step and you're not quite there yet, think about each and every step along this way. It's molded you into the person you are. It's molded your team into the team they are. And it's inspiring them in the way that you've brought your light and your energy. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're striving, keep going, keep going know that this is all in the journey all the time um but you know here's my blend okay so in here i've got if you can see this i've got melissa arborvitae cassia and coriander so i wasn't quite sure what i would think about these ones together but it actually is really nice the cassia kind of gives it a little bit of spice and the coriander and the melissa give it a little bit of sweetness and the arborvitae gives it kind of that um, earthiness that that I was looking for. So the reason I chose these oils are based on their meaning. So um, Melissa, you know, it's it's an oil I don't use that often, uh, mainly because it's a more expensive oil. Let's just be honest. <laughs> it's one hundred and thirty-five dollars for a five milliliter. So it's it's definitely one of the more expensive ones and that's because of all of the plant that it takes to make that single bottle of oil um, so it's a really precious oil and just to read you a little bit about Melissa in here Melissa is the oil of light and one of my my anchors I actually um, I wear this bracelet every single day I got it from Alex and Ani and it actually has a piece of the copper from the Empire State Building in here, um, or not the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty, um, a piece of that copper from the light of the copper, and it says carry light, and light has always been something I've aspired to share and show and be that light for others when they need it, when they're in the darkness. Um, so for me, Melissa really, I just got goosebumps, <laughs> Melissa really meant a lot whenever I, I looked it up today and I saw it was the oil of light. Um, it awakens the soul to truth and light, and it reminds individuals who they truly are and why they came to this earth. Melissa invites one to release everything and anything that holds them back from reaching their fullest potential. So I, I love the light aspect of this, but I love the fact that it helps you, you know, achieve your fullest potential because how many times do we get in our own way, right? When you're trying to reach your goals or your dreams, we have that self-talk that can be limiting and get in our own way. So Melissa helps to, to release those um, blocks that are holding you back. Um, Melissa assists an individual in receiving spiritual guidance by reconnecting them with their inner voice. It uplifts the soul by literally preparing one to up-level. How fitting for this kind of blend, right? Uh, when an individual feels too weighed down by the burdens of life, Melissa encourages them to keep going. It gives strength, vitality to the innermost recesses of the heart and soul. The oil invites one to participate in higher realms of living and dreaming as an individual stays connected to spiritual sources. 
So you, while it's the oil of light, it also lets you stay connected to the divinity, to the divine, to help bring you to that next level. It also um, helps you, let's see, stay connected to your spiritual sources. They feel a lightness in their being and a brightness in the core. Uh, Melissa reminds one that every individual has a spark of divin divinity within them that allows them love and attention. That spark will grow. This oil fuels that spark of energy, enlightening an individual's true self. Melissa assists them in shedding everything that is not in harmony with their inner light. So, one thing I mentioned before was a core message that I, I got from celebrating all of the, the diamonds, the blue diamonds, the presidential diamonds, the double blue diamonds. You know, everyone that we celebrated, we actually got to hear a little bit of their story and some advice that they wanted to pass on and share with us. And what was so true is that everybody was themselves, right? So this Melissa oil can help you uncover you know, your true self because with today's marketing messages, how much are we like burdened by being the perfect person, having the perfect skin, having the perfect hair, wearing the perfect clothes, wearing outrageously high heels because they look great, um, even though they may be so uncomfortable, right? The, the world sends us these messages that we have to conform and we have to look a certain way to be beautiful or to be smart or to be loved. Um, and that's not true. We each have that own identity within us. Um, Melissa is contagious. Um, and by that, it says the enthusiasm that Melissa brings is contagious, uh, which you know we need whenever we're working in a community-based business. Um, what else does it say here? Through this intense light and vibration, Melissa has to offer, an individual may feel they cannot help let go of depression and other low bright low vibrations holding them down. It teaches the joy in living. Um, so Melissa, I wanted to include in here because it was the light, the light of oils to help you uncover your true self. Um, so that's Melissa. The other oil I have in here is, I'm going to work backwards here. Um, the other oil I have is coriander. So, um, this is an interesting one because not everybody loves coriander or cilantro. Um, I love both, especially uh, cilantro, uh, but coriander, sometimes that aroma doesn't please everybody. But coriander is the oil of loyalty. Um, so I wasn't sure, you know, I was kind of debating between coriander or cedarwood to include in this blend. And whenever I started looking more into this, um, I wanted to choose coriander mainly because it, it's not loyalty in a sense of loyalty to others, but loyalty to yourself. And whenever we're talking about the true self and uncovering our true message, I thought that was so fitting here. Um, the person in need of coriander may be trapped in a cycle of serving others while neglecting their own needs. Um, this is such a service-based business, but we also have to think about ourselves and what, how we feel, how we are, are loving what we're doing and having fun. And I do tons of travel, right? And, and sometimes it's exhausting and I don't always give my body the time to rest and recuperate like I should. And that doesn't serve anybody because whenever I'm exhausted, I can't give my light, right? So... And this helps me uncover what I may be, may be neglecting in my own self. Um, it often, often the mind's perceptive of the quote right way is too limited and only seen from one perspective. So again, this kind of goes back to um, the idea of doing things that the media thinks is perfect or looking a certain way versus looking your way, looking your way, right? Um, coriander reminds individuals that there is more than one way to do something and that fitting in often requires us to betray ourselves, um, betray that true self. 
It moves the individual from doing things for the acceptance of others to honoring and living from the true self. Um, there's many ways of being and there's so many people in this world. So each of us, each soul has to learn its own way of living and being. And Coriander gives us that courage to step out of the box and risk being someone who is really an individual, right? Somebody who really doesn't fit in to our conformity. Coriander teaches that each individual is a gift to the world with something unique that nobody else has to offer. Only we can be and express our own true uniqueness. Loyalty to the self means living in connection with what one's spirit urges and directs. Coriander shifts from needing others' acceptance to honoring and living in one's true self. Um, so that's coriander. It's the second oil in this blend. Uh, the next one is cassia. So cassia is truly one of my favorite oils, especially in the fall. Um, I do a little diffuser blend that is just like a chai latte that smells so delicious um, with cassia because it, it's a form of cinnamon. So it's got that spiciness to it and that hotness, which is perfect for the fall as it's getting cooler and crisper. But emotionally, uh, cassia is the oil of self-assurance. Um, so it's the oil that gives you that courage to be yourself, right? So cassia brings gladness and courage to your heart and soul. It's a wonderful remedy for anybody who's shy and timid. Uh, which, you know, I don't consider myself shy. I, I do take a little bit of time to warm up to people. Um, but if you know me, you know that I am so not shy and I'm not timid. I'll do whatever or say whatever. Um, but I have a quieter voice about me, right? And I, I've honed this term, the quiet fierceness, right? Where people mistake that quietness for shyness. Um, this oil helps those who hold back and try to hide uh, when a person avoids being the center of attention, cassia can restore that confidence. Uh, similar to cinnamon, cassia dispels fear and replaces it with self-assurance. It challenges an individual to try, even when they're afraid of making mistakes. Right? So, so much about this is being willing to step out of your own comfort zone. When you're uncomfortable, that means that you're growing. But it's scary, you know, let's just be honest. It's really scary to, to get up on stage or to talk to a stranger or you know, just be uncomfortable. Uh, but that's so much of when you grow is when you're uncomfortable. So Cassia helps you have that confidence to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Uh, it aids those who feel foolish by helping them see their own brilliance and it supports the soul in seeing its own value and potential. Cassia um, can help an individual uh, discover their innate gifts and talents, and it invites one to let their light shine and live their authentic self. Um, so it helps address feelings like embarrassment, hiding, fear, humil humiliation. I can't even say that word. Um, so I better use some Cassia, right? <laughs> um, insecure, judged, shy, worthless. Um, so that's the third one in this blend. And then the last oil, which those of you that you know, know me know I have been loving on this oil lately, um, called Arborvitae. And it's it's not my favorite aroma. I'll be, I'll be frank with you on that one. It's kind of... Um, when it, it reminds me of the smell of gasoline, right? So it's not the most pleasant aroma, but it's the oil of divine grace, right? Divine grace. That's so powerful. And I hope you're seeing the underlining connections here about discovering light, having confidence, having the faith to trust in the divinity to get you to that next level, no matter what devil that you're experiencing or what devil that you're fighting up against. Um, there's a reason you're going through this journey and, and these can help you overcome that. It's not going to make them go away. It's not going to mask them, but it can help you 
get to those underlying emotions and and move past so thanks for the hearts Corey. love that um i know you love know that i love this this one um so let me tell you a little bit about this oil it's it assists individuals who believe or act like all progress must be made through struggle and solitary effort so um in my last position i was in, in more of a managerial role and not to say that I was a direct report for anybody, but I had to manage a lot of expectations of our employees and I had to work with them. And that was a struggle for me because I, I'm the type of person that I, I want to do it and I want to do it right. And I, I used to believe, um, that if that was going to happen, I had to be the one to do it. Right. I had to have that control, right? I, I couldn't let go of the control of making sure it was perfect. Um, so I've been doing a lot of self work around this uh, because what do they say? It's when if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go strong, go together, right? And that's that's what we do in this community. That's exactly what each one of my leaders does is we're doing this together. And I've, I've heard you know, one of my leaders say, that you know i don't want to be the one to get that rank i want my leaders to be right there with me and i want them to be reaching that rank the same time i do uh, which is pretty powerful i thought and because you know this this is something that you grow and your leaders grow right so she's saying that she doesn't want to just reach that rank she actually doesn't care if she gets there she cares if her leaders get there and that's how i feel too you know i of course I want to hit diamond and I want to hit blue diamond and I want to be presidential diamond but what would make me happier is to see each one of my leaders reach diamond and <laughs> I know why you know who said that Kari because <laughs> it was you um, and that's why I love you know your leadership abilities because that's you know your viewpoint and your passion but you know, for me it's the same way I want to celebrate you guys reaching diamond. I want to celebrate you guys reaching blue diamond and presidential diamond and getting to gala and throwing confetti all over you to celebrate as you walk that, that lavender carpet they have. Um, so for me, adding Arborvitae in this blend is, is continuing that growth, continuing that belief in destiny, that belief that there's a reason why each and every one of us are here and in this group and reaching for these goals. Um, so, you know, instead of trusting in the divine, individuals can sometimes, sometimes subconsciously or unconsciously block divine aid. So they can choose to instead live by their own efforts. And I want to tell a little bit of a silly story um, that I didn't really connect with until I probably this trip, right? So uh, many of you know that I travel with Coralie pretty much everywhere that I go. <laughs> she went with me every single trip this Diamond Club. My first trip without her was actually July. I did a quick overnight to see some of my team in Florida and it was crazy, you know, traveling without holding her on the plane or, or de dealing with the stroller or the car seat or anything. And um, on my way home this trip, I had more things than I, I had planned on, mainly because I, I got some swag from the, the swag store, and I had my new kit with the new oils in it, and I didn't have quite enough room in my suitcase, because um, both of them were overweight, so I, I carried on more things than I normally do uh, when I travel on an airplane. So I, I had my book bag. I had Coralie in my Bajorn carrier. I had a, a tote bag that had my convention kit in there and some other stuff that wouldn't fit in my suitcase. And then I had the car seat and the stroller. And then I had a bag of snacks and goodies because you know, I, I can't travel without snacks and goodies myself. <laughs> but now that I have Coralie, she definitely doesn't go without snacks and goodies, right? So I had all this stuff. And um, it wasn't bad the first leg of the trip because I had actually planned that with um, my mom, Denise, which many of you know her. She's actually part of our upline. And so she helped me a lot on that first trip. And then getting off the plane, it was fine. 
But then the next leg of the trip was a solo flight. So it was just Corley and I and all this stuff, right? So I'm getting on the airplane and I always, um, you know, I have the car seat that attaches to the stroller. So I've got this system, right? So I've got my book bag on, I've, I'm wearing Corley on the front. I've got my tote bag in one hand and this other like food bag in another hand. And I, I'm going down the ramp with my stroller and I get to the end and I have to unconnect the car seat and fold down the stroller, right, at the end of the ramp so they can put it underneath the airplane. So I I get to the bottom and usually I do this all by myself, right? And people offer, they offer usually nine times out of 10, somebody will say, do you need help? And I say, no. And somebody offered me help today, or that, not today, but that day. And I'm at the end of the ramp and before I, I almost unconsciously just, said no, right? Because it's such a habit of me. Like, I don't need help. I can do this. Don't worry. I've got this, right? How many of you do that? You're, you're saying no to help all the time. And in that moment, I thought, okay, well, I can either be, you know, proud that I can do this on my own, or I can actually ask for help whenever I need it because I am struggling a little bit, right? So I said, you know what? That would be great. Um, and it was actually the pilot, <laughs> the pilot that was asking me for help or if I needed help. So it was so sweet of him. Um, but he, he went over to the, the stroller and he unattached the car seat and he folded down the stroller base for me and helped me get on the plane. And that felt so good to just have an extra hand whenever I needed it, right? But in that moment, I, I kind of was reflecting as I was walking to my seat. And so I get there, and again, I still have that tote bag, the food bag, Corley, and my book bag, right? So I get to my seat, and of course, you know, most of the aisle seats are taken, and I love sitting next to the window. So I asked this guy, I said, hey, is anybody sitting there? There wasn't, so I said, Can, do you mind if we jump in there? So um, he's like, sure, of course, don't worry. So you know, he stands up to let us in, and as he stands up, I go to put my, my bag up on the top, right? And I knew I wanted to have you know, my, my new kit underneath me because I didn't want it to go out of my sight, right? So I wanted to put my book bag up there, but it was so heavy. And again, he says, do you need help? And before I, I, you know, typically my response would be, no, no, I've got this. I can do it. Don't worry. But I said, yes, yes, I would love that. Um, so he helped me and he put my book bag up on, on the top in the, the carry, carry on a compartment and I got in my seat. And this may sound silly to you, and you're allowed to laugh um, if it sounds stupid, but when I sat in my seat, I thought, how many times am I actually telling the universe no? The universe is sending help my way all of the time, but my, my subconscious response is always no, because I can do this. I've got it. Um, so think about that for a minute as, as you're thinking about divinity and limiting beliefs and, and doing things on your own and um, you know this may bring something up for you but it may not I just wanted to share in case it does um, so real quick whoop, I'm gonna roll up the window the neighbors uh, mowing the grass give me a second so we'll put the cool cool seats on okay so you know, back to Arbor Mighty you know think about you and your lifestyle and, and how many times you're actually saying no and, and flip that around you know, I'm not saying go out of your way to ask strangers to help you or make it all about you or anything like that. But I'm just saying when you have those opportunities for somebody that can help you and you may need it. Bury that pride. Um, I know we've got a bunch of women in here who are like go-getters and dreamers and shakers and movers. Um, but why not let somebody help you? Latin name 
means to sacrifice. Uh, this oil invites individuals to sacrifice their personal will and ambition for a far more fulfilling way of living. So, you know, think about that for a second in terms of, you know, Kari and Casey, I know you guys were at convention with me and you got to experience some of the doTERRA culture, um, which isn't as always easy to see if you don't go to a corporate event, but they are so much about serving others in their missions and that's exactly what they do with you know the Healing Hands Foundation, with our co-impact sourcing, with the way that our leaders serve the world. It's all about you know, sacrificing your personal will for the the better good, for a more fulfilling way of living. Um, by surrendering to God, the mind relaxes and the soul experiences harmony and peace. Arbor Vitae teaches the true strength comes through emptiness or a willingness to receive God's strength. Um, it asks individuals to relax, take a deep breath, and trust in the flow of life. Arbor Vitae assists the soul to live effortlessly by divinity and by divine grace.